Hi guys and welcome back to another encryption tutorial. In this video we'll be discussing RSA, which is a public key encryption algorithm widely used for secure data transmission. So how does it work? Each peer has their public and private keys. When encrypting a message with one key, it can only be decrypted using the other key. Let's assume that we have two peers communicating with each other in a channel secured by RSA. The sender would encrypt the plain text message with the recipient's public key, so that the recipient would be the only one who could decrypt the message using their private key. Typically, the public key would be available in a public key repository. However, for the private key, as the name suggests, it should be kept privately at the recipient's site. Let's now implement the RSA encryption decryption in Python. For this video, we'll be using RSA Python package. So you're going to open up your terminal and you'll need to type pip install RSA. Once the RSA package is installed, then you're good to go. What we're going to do now is import the RSA into our program. So we're going to type in here, import RSA. First, we'll start by implementing two helper methods to generate and load the public and private keys. So we're going to type here, def generate underscore keys. And we're going to generate the keys, which is going to be a tuple of the public and private keys. So we're going to create a tuple of pub key and prive key, which is going to be equal to RSA dot new keys. And then it takes the size of the key in bits. So we're going to generate a one kilobyte key, which means that we're going to type in here 1024. Okay, what we're going to do now is actually write the keys into files. So I have a folder that is called keys in the workspace right here. So I just want to write both the pub key and the prive key in two files in this folder. So what I'm going to do is type here with open keys slash pub key dot pem and then we're going to write bytes the mode is going to be wb as f f dot write pub key the save underscore pk cs1 and then we're going to give it the format which is pem and we're going to do the same for the prive key. So I'm going to just copy this and uh, paste it right in here. So this is going to be the prive key. And this is apparently the prive key as well. Okay, so now we're done with saving our um, files. So let's move to the other method, which is actually loading the keys. So diff load underscore keys. And it's going to open the files that we've created in the previous method. So with open keys slash pub key dot pem. And of course, the mode is going to be read bytes. So rb as f pub key is going to be equal to rsa dot public key dot load underscore pkcs1 and then we're going to give it the bytes of the file which is f dot rate okay we're going to do the same for the private key so i'm going to just uh, copy this and paste it right here. And we're gonna change this to prive key. Prive, not prive. And uh, this is going to be private key. Okay, what we need to do now is just return the public and the private keys. This is of course prive key. So return pub key and prive key. Okay, uh, now we'll create another two methods to encrypt and decrypt the message. So def encrypt, it's going to take the message, 
and it's going to take the key of course so what we need to do now is return rsa.encrypt and then we're going to encrypt the message of course however um, we need to encode the message in ascii so message oops message dot encode ascii and then we're gonna give it the key and then we're good to go let's now implement the decrypt method so def decrypt it's gonna take the cipher text and the key to decrypt the message this is decrypt okay so what we need to do in a try except block we're gonna try to return rsa dot decrypt cipher text and then give it the key and then we're going to decode it and since we use the ascii encoding then we're gonna be decoding it using ascii as well okay so if this fails this means that uh, the key is not actually uh, or was not able to decrypt the message so what we need to do is just return false okay finally you will create two methods to sign and verify a message with a key using sha1 hash function so we're going to type in here def sign underscore sha1 and then it's going to take the message and then the key so we're going to sign the message with our key so we're going to return rsa.sign message.encode ascii of course and then we're going to give it the key and then the um, our hashing algorithm and we're going to be using sha-1 okay for the verification method we're going to type here def verify underscore sha1 and then we're going to give it the message the signature to verify and then the key so what we need to do is in a try except block try to verify our message so rsa dot verify and then we're going to give it the message so message dot encode ascii and then we're going to give it the signature of course and then the key this verify method actually returns the hash algorithm that was used to uh, in the signature so what we need to do is actually check that this is equal to asha-1 and actually we, we just want to return this so if the uh, message or the signature uh, is authentic then this is going to return true of course and uh, otherwise this is going to raise an exception so in this except right here we just want to return false which means that uh, the verification has failed and the message or either the message or the signature uh, were manipulated and are not authentic so right now we are ready to build the actual program so what we want to do now is first of all generate our keys so we're going to call the generate keys method and then load the keys load the public and the private keys so pub key and prive key it's going to be equal to load keys which is the method that we implemented above so what we need to do now is actually take the message input from the user so i'm going to create a variable that's called message which is going to be equal to input and then we're just going to um, type in the prompt message so enter a message oops message okay so now we have our message what we need to do is encrypt this method this message so cipher text is going to be equal to encrypt the message and of course 
as we discussed earlier, we want to encrypt the message using the public key, right? So uh, this represents the peer that is trying to send us a message. So this peer is going to encrypt the message using our public key. So what we need to do is type in here pub key, right? Okay, so now we have the cipher text. Let's now generate this signature. So seg nature is going to be equal to sign SHA one, which is the method we created above, we're going to give it the message, and then we're going to give it the private key. So actually, we're signing the message with our private key, so that the other P peer could uh, verify the message using our public key and check uh, the that the message is really authentic and was not manipulated. So now we have our signature and we have our cipher text. Then what we need to do is at the other end, we're going to be uh, decrypting the message. So we just want to receive the plain text, which is going to be equal to decrypt. And then we're going to give it the cipher text, so cipher text. And then we're going to be decrypting using the, um, of course, the private key. So prive key. So now we have the plain text. So what we need to do is print out the cipher text and print out the signature and then just uh, the plain text and verify the signature to see uh, things in action. So first of all, we're going to be printing. So print, I'm going to be using string formatting. Cipher text is going to be equal to right here the placeholder will be cipher text right and then we're going to print the signature so signature and here in the variable signature right okay now we're going to check the plain text so if plain text then this means that we have successfully decrypted the message so what we need to do is just uh, print out the message so uh, plain text and then this is going to be plain text right else this means that we were not able to decode the message so either uh, uh, the message was de was encrypted in another uh, public key or the message was manipulated of course so what we need to do is just print out could not uh, decrypt the message. Okay. Okay, so right now we're going to be verifying the signature. So if verify SHA one, and then we're going to give it the plain text, the signature, and then the pub key, then we're just going to print out signature verified. Otherwise, else we're going to be printing, could not verify the message signature, right? Okay, so that's it guys for the uh, program. Let's now test it out. So what we're going to do is type in the terminal Python and then the file, which is made of Pi. Oops. Okay, so apparently we have a typo right in here. Okay, let's now test it again. All right, so let's enter the message. So I'm going to I'm going to enter Basil Tech Tutorial. Okay, here we go. So uh, here we have our cipher text bytes, and then the signature bytes, and then the plain text right here, and then the uh, that the message signature uh, was verified. You may be asking yourself. Um, We've encrypted the message using public key and then just signed it with our own private key. Well, typically, if you're having two peers, peer A talking to peer B, then uh, if peer A is sending a message to peer B, uh, the message should be encrypted in using the public key of peer B, right? However, it's signed using the private key of peer A. 
which is actually the peer sending the message. And at the other side, the recipient side, which is peer B, peer B is going to decrypt the message using their own private key and then verifying the signature of the message using the public key of peer A, which is actually the sender. However, in our case, uh, we're not having a sender or a recipient, so I'm just demonstrating to you the use of uh, the, uh, uh, the, the the signature and the signing a message and then verifying the message and so on. So uh, that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one.